just leave it kind of barely snug. Yeah, I wish there was another hole I could stick that all in. Yeah, this does work better even than the other one. It's smaller in diameter. I can turn it better with my hands down in there. If I drop the screw, I have to fish it out. And that mean, probably means, take, it means taking the front door off for sure. I mean taking the drum back out. I've done it before. I used to have a long magnet, a telescoping magnet, but uh, I don't think it broke. So I don't have a, it's not lost. I have it, the magnet, but it's only about this, about six inches long now. I mean, it used to be like a talk T car antenna, you know, pull it out. Okay, so let's check this belt one more time after all that working around. Might have had to. Okay, that's on. Oh, put the uh, put the switches on there. The switch wires on there. Yeah. Now, uh, I don't think it matters which one's which on this. I did see in one of the videos they said make sure you get in the pole, you know, get which one in the right place. But on here, I don't think it matters on this dryer. <clears throat> if it does, I'll switch them. <laughs> okay. Now. I think I'm going to leave it just sitting there. Well, I got to move it. Yeah, I better shove it down, on down because I got to turn it one way or the other so that I can get that uh, belt on there. And I'd like to show that. Well, you know, every video about dryer shows you how to do that. So I don't really think it matters if I show it. Uh When I go to lay down there, I don't, I don't want all that stuff. I don't want to break any of this stuff. Let's see, where's my nut driver? I wonder about, oh, I forgot to put that thing that, forgot this. So put these up here. Let's see, and put the right, Put the right size on here for these screws. Well, I'm kind of wondering though. I wonder, you know what? Those seem to work perfectly, but these are three. And I remember now <coughs> that uh, <coughs> they may be around the same diameter, but a bigger head. <coughs> so where did the other two go then? We see one, two, three. That makes sense now. So uh, I think I'll leave those other two for this test. But this needs to be there to keep the drum from going forward. Of course, now that it's got the right kind of cup in it, it won't. Uh, it won't come out. But I don't know. Should I wait and put that in later? Now let's put it in. Now I could end up getting or something. But they did snug up real good, so they fooled me. <clears throat> yeah, they always say use the putty knife, but on this old dryer, just a, a smaller screwdriver is actually better, I'm finding out. Because you can par with it to help, help it come on up. This thing... Needs to go in here. Let's see, like this. Yeah, don't drop it down in there either. Yeah, it goes like that. Okay. And I'm pretty sure that's the right screw. Yeah, so now 
I actually have the I'm, I think I have the wrong screws. Yeah, I have the wrong screws in the door. I thought those heads seemed a little small, but they seem to seem so good in there, you know. So, uh, but I'll take them out. It's coming back out, so when I take it apart to do the the felt, that's when I'll take them out. Those other two, I'm sure I'll find out where they go. Maybe on the back. Maybe there's those other ones that I, four that I counted up, and those two in the back. Oh, I know where they go. They hold the back, that little bitty back door in the back on. That's what they're for, because there's two of them, and they're different. Yep, they hold the little access door in the back on, which I'm not going to put that on right now anyway. But see, that sticks up above the drum just enough to keep it from going too far this way. Now, I was thinking maybe I'd turn it that way. You know what? I turn it that way you can see the access door you won't see in it but I'll be down lower over here unless it's too filthy I got filthy the other time might as well cry this this time and I'm not going to put the back door on just yet until I test you know test run it but uh, yeah I can I think I can yeah I can get it like over here and Looks like it's going to be pretty dark in there, so maybe it will. I better not have it that far. I'm trying to think of where I'll be able to get to it, you know. But, uh, yeah. So I'll bring my light down here. So that I'll be able to see to do this. Yeah. Okay. Belt was in good shape. I'll grab the gloves, but I think maybe I won't be able to do it with gloves on. Let's see. What do I have in my pocket? I'm kind of leery about losing these two screws. I'm gonna put them in the box. Cause when I get down there crawling around, put this nut driver back up there so I don't. That one screwdriver might be handy. Magnifying glass should be within my reach, I think. I need it. Where would that be? Right there, I guess. Yeah, that'd be all right, I think. I don't think I can do the belt with my glo big gloves on and, and, you know, those neoprene gloves would just be more trouble. They'd be harder, not better. Yeah, I can. don't have to lay down on the floor, or do I? Oh, one thing, I still can't see anything but the light. That bulb is blind to me. There. Well, let's see. How does that go? Oops. Came right off of there. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Knees. Actually, the pain is not in my knees. It's in the back. Of my legs that are below my knees. Okay, I'm beginning to see that I don't really have this in the right place. I'm not sure exactly what it is I need to do. I know that goes there. It does go up over there. It has to. <sighs> Keep dropping it and the spring will let go and then I'll be having to redo that again. Ugh, why'd you say that? It made it happen. Oh, I see where that spring goes. It doesn't go where I thought. It goes right there. Let's try putting it on here without the spring first and then put the spring on there. Oh, here we go. 
think. Yeah, there we go. And then the spring pulls it down and tensions it. And I don't think I have my needle nose pliers, and that's probably just what I need. I don't. Well, I gotta go get the needle nose. That's what I need to get that get that on there. Actually, I might have been able to. Yeah, I can. I can go ahead and put it on there. And then put the belt around it. I think I can put it on there like that. No, I can't. Or can I? Let's see. So I'll put it on here first. I'm still going to need the... Now it goes the other way. Come in from that way? No. Come in from that way? Yeah. Can I just about do it without the needle nose? Ow, ow, ow. There. Now, I think I have to lay down because I have to have, let's try one more time. Oh, maybe if I sit down. What's in my back pocket? Oh, it's not in my back pocket, it's that phone. If I had a rug over here, I should have. I didn't want to lay on that rug because it's so dirty. But that would stop some of the. My knees are killing me now. Okay. Okay. Okay, I got it. Well, the biggest problem is just the pain in the waking old body. And, and getting both hands. You know, I got to use both hands at the same time. and. I just don't have enough strength in my legs and back anymore to to bend down and not have, you know, either be laying down or have my elbows on something or something. I just can't even do it, much less do it for a long time. Ah! Oh, shaking like a leaf. But I got it. Oh. That dark hole, that's a dark hole of uh, trouble. Whew! It's really not a super, you got to remember how the belt uh, goes. Took me a bit to get it all figured out again. It's not a super, I don't want that up there with the heat going on the dryer. I don't want that in the heat. Uh, it's, uh, okay. Yeah, now we're ready to, yeah, see this cover? One, two, one, two, three. I think there's only four screws for the cover. I didn't take anything out of the timer or anything. So those two that go on the door, the four that go on the cover, oh, and then the other two with the bigger heads actually go on the door. Okay, I got them all accounted for now. So after I test it, actually I might put the... I might want to put the covers on before I start gluing that thing up. Yeah, that way. Because once I'm done with it, it needs to just not be touched. Not be moved around. Because it needs to set still to dry. I need to put that thing back in its little spot. I guess I should do that now. I have a... I put this... Uh, is that nut driver going to do that? I think it might. I don't know if the right one's in there or not. Let's see. Uh, turn it where I can get to it easy. I'm not going to turn it around and around and around to get it towards you though. Okay. Uh, I put this bracket in there to hold this cord away from that exhaust pipe. I didn't want it to. Oh, it just it's, it's too watered out, but it'll stay in there. Yeah, yeah, it'll stay real good. You have to flip the door up a lot and. It stayed on there for a long time when I first was working on it earlier. So that keeps it from touching. I was saying I, I just kept it from dangling and me losing the cord the other day, but it, it's really to keep it. main thing is to keep it from touching 
that and getting melted through and shorten out. Because once we didn't used to have that vent pipe and uh, right there's good, I think. Oh yeah, it'll have to be a lot further this way when I has to go where it'll hit that. Not that it matters right now. I'm going to be moving it around, again, around and around. But well, you don't want to. Yeah. Okay. That's about kind of where it would sit. Well, the cords hung on the vent pipe. I guess I went. I just remembered that those gallon bottles of water were all stacked up over here, and I was kind of judged by the space they would need. Doesn't matter. I'm just kind of being goofy right now because, yeah, that keeps that away from the pipe when it's hooked up. It's not going to hook it up now. I still haven't. That's right. I still haven't. Uh, I want to get my endoscope. I'm not going to try to do that today. If I get this all set up and everything. I'll leave that pipe loose, but I'll get my endoscope and it has a light on it. It's about 10 feet long. I can stick it up, you know, pretty high. Hopefully high enough to see the top and see if, make sure it's not plugged up with a bird nest or something. And, uh, before I just start running it again, because that may be what ruined the, the, uh, from looking at what run the heating coil, but, uh, Making it work, you know, overheat. But uh, after looking and looking at uh, pictures, old pictures of it, the heating coil was sagging in places. It was getting pretty old, a long time ago. I didn't, I don't remember the date on those pictures. Oh, the date's no good on them because I had copied them via regular FTP, and uh, it changed the date to that day of 2017. And I know all the same day, you know. I don't remember how I figured that out. That it was oh, because it's in a folder labeled "copied with FileZilla regular FTP," and the and what's really strange is the other folder, which would have been the original folder, was empty. Where were they? Uh, so I don't know what happened with all that. They could be. Oh, they might be. You know what? The originals are probably on my older computer. It's got like three, four drives in it. Probably when I went to copy some of that data, they were in a folder from my mom's files, you know. And uh, I was just copying them for her to have them in case she ever needed them. Or if she ever just wanted to see, you know. Okay, I think I'll throw a couple of towels in there. They're dirty. They've been out here drying on the, you know, used, got wet, drying on the line. I'll just throw a few of them in there. You know what? That heat, I mean that smell from that, that might not wash out too good. I'm just going to leave it empty because I know what's going to happen. It's going to stink to high heaven from that uh, oil on the... Uh, uh, trying to figure out where to put these boxes and stuff. But I'm going to want to open the door. Okay, let's, let's open the door and I'll see where the... Uh, Yeah, that the noise and the uh, and the I'm looking at the yeah and the light now that it's afternoon. It was 3:33 the last time I looked at the clock. So I'll leave it kind of like that. It's still going to be cutting my head off, but yeah, it's actually kind of better not to go towards that light. Just, I just kind of want to be able to show the door when it opens and closes and stuff. Okay, <clears throat> another drink. <sighs> okay, I'm just going to put it in the normal area where we usually use it. No, it still has something in the bell and the drum that rattles. But it's work. It's rolling good, sounding good. Sounds really good. Quiet. The rattling, of course. So I'll leave the. Uh, yeah, I can smell that. 
that uh, burning of you know oil off of the coil smell. I kept smelling it in the house. It got. I bet I'll still be smelling it for three days. I feel I smell more. It smells like it smells like fumes from a, a gas stove that's not burning very clean. Feeling in the back to see if it's getting warm. <clears throat> I can't stand to be back there though. Let's open this up. Okay, it stops like it should. I think there's some warmth in there. Yep, it's warm in there. Oh, it's hot as blazes. Okay, I'll run it a little bit longer. I don't want to run it too long. That's how it's supposed to work. You open the door and it won't start again until you hit the start button again. The behavior it had had me going for the thermostats and and the, and the, even the, and I just I kept thinking, what if it's the one in the front on the board? But it doesn't supposed to have anything to do with the heating circuit. It doesn't. They say, and the, well, it depends on what kind of what model and uh, of the Westinghouse or GE or you know they have a whole bunch of uh, other companies that they make them for these white Westinghouses Sears. Uh, some of the newer ones than this 93 model. It was saying that that would cause some of the problems I'd have, and it was just going me and throwing me in circles. But uh, the the part I the one I bought um, from uh, years ago that I ended up well, it's different than the one in there. It may still work, but it's different looking for sure. So I only got two terminals instead of four. I don't see how it work because there's actually three separate wires. One with there's four terminals, but one of them's just a jumper from one wire to another. But there's three separate wires going there. Maybe maybe uh, there's no instructions. Saying like you know, go on, if you got an older model, jump you know, jump these wires and jump these wires or something. So, uh, um, okay, that's hot enough. I'm starting to feel. Yeah, the back's warming up. Hopefully that burn that. Oh, that's hot as blazes in there. It's working good. Leave it open for a little bit. Oh, let's turn it till it quits. Get it running again. Turn it till it quits. There we go. Oh, air fluff. Yeah, let's turn on air fluff for a minute. Let it cool it down. I definitely don't want that brand new heating thing to overheat. You know, when there's no clothes in there, it, it could get too hot. Um, you always tell you don't run the dryer empty, you know. With the clothes and the moisture in there, it's it, it's going to not let it get too hot, you know. There we go. Yeah, see that knob can turn. It can turn about an inch. So hopefully I can uh, get the glue on this and uh, fix that too. But I won't do that till last because, well, that's the least important. But also, uh, I want to be able to be, you know, if it, I can't move it if it's drying up. So I want to be able to test it. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I see. Yeah, I'm gonna go blow off again because I was all down on the floor. If I don't, I'll be getting. Well, if I go in the house, I'll get everything dirty and everything else. But I think I'll open the door to help it cool off. Yeah, that heat's just flying out of there. Okay, so now I've got to open it back up, take the front off, and get, see what it's going all it's gonna take to do that uh, thing. Kind of like that door open. For the, uh, the the fresh air, 